AI is the new electricity, said Andrew In, a famous artificial intelligence expert and one of the thought leaders in the technology world. He believes that just as electricity transformed almost everything more than 100 years ago, AI will do the same today. Hello, my name is Alex Kondofor and I am data science competence leader at Altexsoft. Today I'll share the main areas and problems that machine learning and AI solve and explain why AI may be as influential as electricity back then. If you are new to the topic, please first check my previous videos on AI and machine learning. There I explain the difference between the terms and specify which kind of AI we are talking about here. For those who are somewhat versed in the topic, let's begin. First, you have to bear in mind that all AI applications can be broadly divided into two main categories. Those that deliver direct value to the customers, like ranking posts in your Facebook feed for instance, and those that deliver value to a business by providing insights and improving operations. These may be solutions that predict how soon one or another customer will leave. I'll cover both types. One of the most common applications of AI nowadays is personalization and recommender systems. Ultimately, they work within the same logic, recommending relevant items to the customers based on their preferences. The range of such applications is quite broad. In e-commerce, like Amazon, you'll see recommended products based on your assumed needs. Streaming services like Netflix, YouTube, or Spotify analyze your preferences and suggest what you may like to watch or listen next. Travel booking systems like Expedia or Booking.com analyze your search history and behavior to offer matching accommodations and flights. So, in general, you can apply AI-driven systems in all the cases where users interact with large inventory of products or services and need some guidance. Another important task for machine learning is recognizing human speech and synthesizing answers. If you ask your Siri something, know that first, a speech recognition algorithm converts it into a text. The text has been analyzed, and then speech generation algorithm reads an answer for you. There are quite advanced implementations of speech generation and recognition. Do you remember a very sci-fi-ish presentation of Google Duplex? where the Google Assistant was booking a table at the restaurant, talking by phone almost as a human. Google used very advanced speech generation algorithm to imitate natural human speech. Speech recognition and generation are actively used in conversational agents like chatbots or virtual assistants, including Google Assistant, Alexa, Siri, and numerous smaller ones. But just recognizing speech and generating responses is not enough. Here is when another knowledge area is used. Natural language processing and understanding are a set of techniques that allow a machine, well, to understand the text. Understanding, in this case, usually means extracting entities, like names or objects, and defining your intentions, like calling Uber or ordering a pizza. After the system extracts this information, it can fulfill this request. Another broad application of NLP is opinion mining or sentiment analysis. It means finding positive and negative sentiment in texts to analyze, for instance, brand or product images in social media. For example, our team has built a system that analyzes hotel reviews. User can choose a hotel and get its ratings split by different amenities, like cleanliness or internet quality or food. You get the idea. All these ratings are generated from textual reviews automatically, so you don't have to read lots of them in order to get all this information. One more application of NLP that almost everybody uses nowadays is machine translation. For example, Google Translate and Facebook use deep neural networks to provide users with translations between many different languages. And this is not an easy task. Not only machines can read and speak, they can also see. Computer vision is a field of AI research that trains machines to analyze images and videos and recognize objects in them. It can be used in a large variety of cases, starting from popular ones like Snapchat filters that recognize human faces and overlay filters on top of them, or iPhone smart lock, to professional ones like surveillance camera to fight crimes. Computer vision is also actively tested in healthcare to recognize tumors or other risky conditions on MRI scans or X-ray images. But the most well-known case is probably self-driving vehicles. 
It's worth mentioning, though, that there is a common misconception that image and video recognition are the main source of information for self-driving cars. In fact, this work is done in combination with radars and lidars. Image recognition is used to identify cars, pedestrians, bicycles, read signs and road marks. But distances are usually measured by lidars. Now, let's move to the next one. There are many uses for machine learning in marketing and sales. First of all, it can be used for advanced sales forecasting. Most businesses do some sort of sales forecasting in Excel using regular statistics. But you may take a broader set of factors, including market data, some demographic trends, etc., and train an algorithm to make precise forecasting for your future sales. If you run a subscription-based service, one of your main metrics would be so-called churn rate. You want to know whether your customers will leave and when. Machine learning can help you make quite precise predictions by analyzing subtle changes in customer behavior. Machine learning can also be used for calculating other common business and product metrics, like predicting customer lifetime value, for example, based on a handful of user actions. Another revenue optimization technique is called dynamic pricing. This concept is commonly used in the airline industry, hospitality, and generally in travel. It means coming up with the best prices to sell full inventory and maximize the revenue by analyzing current market and demand, taking into account historical data and new trends. And these prices can change dynamically multiple times a day, reacting to market conditions and inventory. A quite similar case is price prediction. It can be used both in customer-facing application and in internal analytics systems. Fairboom or Hopper price prediction engines are examples of systems that estimate future prices and help customers to define when it's better to make a ticket purchase. Price prediction can also be used internally for highly volatile commodity prices like electricity, oil, wood or something else. These predictions can then be used for making decisions on buying those goods or even setting up your prices based on your competitors. Machine learning can also be used to detect fraud especially in banks and other payment organizations. It can also be used in insurance to find fake claims. Basically, machines look for suspicious transactions. For instance, if a customer normally spends 30 bucks per day, visits the grocery store every weekend, and then, all of a sudden, cashes out several thousand in another part of the world, a fraud detection system may consider this transaction fraud and blockage. Another example is e-commerce, where fraud detection algorithms help to detect fake product reviews and reveal scammy merchants. And finally, machine learning is used to predict failures in heavy machinery. This is called predictive maintenance. If you operate turbines, factory boats or some heavy machines and gather data from their sensors, you can predict when machine will fail based on some early signs. So, you can adjust maintenance schedule and force repair in advance. It has many potential implementations in transportation, factory robotics, agriculture, and other industries where heavy machinery is used. As you can see, AI finds its applications in almost every business area. We've discussed only most common and most popular ones. Thanks for watching. Like the video, subscribe, and stay tuned.